Kickstarter. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Zach Edwards and I'm the creator of Historical Conquest. Now this was actually started as a class assignment back in college. I had an assignment to create a product that would change the world. And you know what? I came from the public school and in public schools, kids didn't like the lectures, the book study, the memorization and the tests. And to tell you the truth, that's what history class was. That's all it was. Unless you get a really good teacher that really has a passion for it and loves telling stories, Stories are a great way of, of teaching history. But beyond that, there's not much that the teachers can do until now. Now, Historical Conquest, um, when I created that, I came with the concept that I needed to change the concept of, math, of history class and merge it into something that kids already enjoy, students enjoy. So this is not just for like six and seven and eight year olds. These are for like 16, 19 and 20, 30 year olds, 40 year olds and such. But the adults we'll talk about later. So in order to get them interested in it, I created a baseball card of historical figures. And you know what? Boring. I was bored telling people about it. So what I had to do was, it was one day I was playing magic. My, my mom hated magic. She made me get rid of my magic cards. And so I actually brought it back in, in college and actually started playing the game of Risk um, at the same time. And I was like, you know what? I'm taking the concept of a baseball card because it's collectible but what if it was more of a game like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic and a lot of the other ones that are out there. Now again this is actually 15 years ago so this is a long time ago and those were the three games that were really popular at that point. So I took the the concept of Pokemon and Magic but I never wanted to uh, recreate their their uh, strategy. I didn't just want to copy their games I wanted to take the best of all games and create uh, something that would teach history. So I took the idea of the cards from Magic and Pokemon, but I took the gameplay of the game of Risk or Civilization, if you like computer games. And so I merged those concepts together and infused it with history. So every card that you play with is actually history based. So the Spartans, you know, actual history, the British SAS officers, history. So all these things, are based on different parts of history. And the idea is you want to dominate the world because I know, I don't know about you, but at least especially for guys, boys especially, world domination is something they'd love to get. They'd love to play a game with about world domination, taking over their opponents. Um, so we created historical conquest out of the concept that we wanted to create a world domination game, much like Risk, but with a concept of cards that youth already enjoy. So we merged those together. And you know what? We had a great time. We had great success. And so four months later, four months after we finished the print, the History Channel came up with their own game that was history-based. Now, it wasn't a game like, the, like ours. It was actually called Anachronism. And I don't know if you remember that game, but it was an okay game. I've never heard that rive, uh, huge reviews on them, great reviews on them. But I played it. It was okay. A lot of other people played it. It was an okay game. But the problem is that when I went to retailers or distributors, when the promos were coming out for that game, they said, well, I, we have two choices. One, we could take the History Channel game, or we could take your game. Now let's see, your game has no backing, you used all your funds for printing, you have no marketing, or we can go to the History Channel and we can get millions of dollars of backing, promos, we can get all these different things, and constantly have new stuff coming out. So I agree with them. They win it with History Channel. It was a smart way of going. Three years later though, when the recession hit, bye-bye, anachronism, gone. I mean, you won't, you barely ever find it again anymore. And if you do, it's like on eBay and it's used. So the History Channel did not succeed at that. We would have, because we're starting from the grassroots. But I put it away because funny enough, I got married at the same time and my wife actually told me to go get a real job. So that's what I did for 10 years. Then I was teaching some students about entrepreneurship, entrepreneurism and uh, they wanted to play. They wanted to play the game, then they wanted more. So I had to get backers, I had to get um, partners and I actually funded it. I needed $5,000 for our first campaign to create five decks of cards. But now, four years later, Historical Conquest has exploded with tons of things. So we now have seven starter decks. 
So these are the starter decks. Let's see, we've got Mount Vesuvius. We have Nikola Tesla. Oops, there you go, Nikola Tesla. Peter Salem. Cheswell. Amazing story, you gotta check this one, this guy out. Uh, Confucius. All of these people have really amazing stories. Queen Bodicea, if you haven't known about her, you need to check her out. And you can do that on the cards. And the Knights Templar. Those of our starter decks, we have actually another one, Catherine the Great coming out, which is actually filled with female heroes from history. We actually have 15 that have come from what's what we call the Create Your Own Card Contest. It's an annual contest where people submit cards that they want to see in the game. And the top 12 become rare cards. The number one person gets $500. The contest is actually going on right now, and you can check it up on our site. Um, but the great thing is that the, uh, the choices that are not um, accepted as the top 12, we actually put in our game. We judge them to make sure that they are right, a right fit, and we put them in our game. And the Catherine the Great deck is like 15 women of history, most of them nobody's heard of, but they were submitted by fans of the game. So we have the starter decks. We also have, we went from two expansion decks to set, uh, seven here and two more in print right now as we speak. So we have the Romans, the Revolutionary War, the Crusades, the Civil War, uh, World War I and II, and the Wild West. The Industrial Revolution and the Renaissance, yeah, those are the ones being printed, and they're on their way. We also have, we went from one playmat called Burning Map to seven different ones. There's the Storming of Normandy, or my favorite, oops, look at that. It's the Battle of Hastings. Another amazing story for the uh, um, two kingdoms attacking each other for a throne, like the Game of Thrones. Um, but it's even better because the exclusive for Kickstarter is one you're going to really love, and I can't tell anyone yet because the image is not finished. We've sent it back. It's, it's being worked on. So as of right now, if, if you know about card games, there's what's called a CCG, which is a collectible card game which is where all the decks are randomized. Every card in the deck is randomly selected in the deck. So you never get the same deck twice. We didn't like that. We thought it was a waste of money. <coughs> and actually when I started um, Historical Conquest, I actually went that way. But people were buying tons and tons of decks. Actually one person, Gleason, love you man. You had so many decks on my cards because you were trying to get every single card and you spent so much money on it. That was the point where I decided, you know what, I was not gonna let people waste money on these decks. So we created an LCG, which is a living card game, which means if you buy this deck of cards, the Nice Templar, and you buy Bodicea, there's no duplicates. You don't get, you get the exact same uh, set of cards in this deck if you buy 100 of them. Every single card will be the exact same each time. Same with any one that you buy. That's the way we decided to go because we wanted people to be able to spend the money on the new things that come out and not just waste money on trying to find the rare cards. But we did not lose the rare card concept. We have rare cards. And actually we have a great way of receiving them. Go on our site, you'll find out more. It's called the uh, Rare Card Earning Program. And you can actually earn them instead of wasting money trying to find them. So um, here's a question that's come up really uh, quite often. What's the difference between the original decks, the 1.0, Historical Conquest 1.0, the originals, or Historical Conquest 2.0? Now, there's a few things. One is there's a few lessons that we learned, and the abilities are actually um, uh, modified to reflect what we've learned. Also, we have two, number, two symbols here. The first one tells you if it's an immediate, a hold, or a continual. Um, ability and that's based on the abilities if they can use them right away they can hold them or they have or they can use them forever until the card goes away second one is how many times they can use it one two or infinity that's the difference but it's not just in the cards and the game play there's also a lot of difference when it comes to um, so we decided to create a rule book that actually has three tiers of learning how to play Historical Conquest. It depends on your skill, your expertise. I mean, if you've played other games, you might be able to go to the expert level. 
But if you haven't played any games before, and going to the expert level, I mean, you're going to be really confused. So you start off at the beginner, then you can read the intermediate um, rules, and then you can go to the expert rules, which get complicated as you go. Obviously, the three tiers. But the other great thing about the rule book that's only available on our Kickstarter right now is that you can actually go to the back of the, of the, uh, the book and you can actually read three alternative ways of using the cards. Three different games, but the same cards. And there's one last thing. Um, there's another surprise at the, very, at the very end, which I won't ruin for you. So when you get the book, you'll be able to see what's in there. Um, we also created, so out of all of these amazing imagery, images, we have, so you would have the Irish Volunteers. Okay, so you don't know much about the Irish Volunteers, but you will. The art book is almost like an encyclopedia, but made like a comic book. So as you read, you can actually see who these people are, get statistics on them, get the maps of where they were influencing uh, the world, and then also a timeline so you know where they were in history. So <coughs> a cool little um, art book, but also it can be used as a curriculum. So we have a lot of homeschoolers. We, because it's history based, it doesn't have to be history based, but it has a history base. Because of that, we went to the homeschooling realm first. We wanted to introduce this and see how interested people were at their conventions. Um, they were lower cost conventions <coughs> with uh, a lot more people to be able to interact with personally. So we decided to do this, um, go there and do that for the last three years or so. Only now we've started going to Gen Con, the gaming conventions. Um, and so we want to make sure that this was a viable product and it's gone gangbusters. Just in the homeschooling realm, we've sold 18,000 copies. So for them, we created the art book with a supplement that comes separately if you want to use it for educational purposes with activities, assessments, and uh, assignments. So what we need from you guys, we really need your help to get this Kickstarter going. Again, I started this for nothing. And if you know about an LCG, it basically means you have to take all the funding that you get, or all the revenue that you get, and you, ref um, and you work it back into new product. You don't actually make much of a salary. I have barely made anything off this company for the last four years. First three years, it was part-time. Fourth year, we're doing it full-time. And I'm basically living off savings because I'm putting everything into the, the amazing illustrations that we have. 2.0, and also the next game that's coming up with help from this Kickstarter, which is um, Totally Medieval, which is a Knights versus Dragons, but it's also like British Knights versus the Scots, uh, the French, the Spanish. Um, you can also do, there's going to be wizards in it. There's going to be all these different things. If you want to do just history, you can do all the history based. Or if you want to do more uh, fantasy, you can do fantasy based. This is like a hybrid of all games. And it... Yeah, funny enough, it actually has math in it. I mean, it's, you can actually learn math at the same time of playing. It's not an educational game per se, but it is. And that's the great thing about it. But we have put over $100,000 into our intellectual property, being illustrations. And so that's why we are throwing together this Kickstarter, because we want to do the 2.0 version, and we also want to work, start working on Totally Medieval, our geography game, and our physical education game. Geography is almost like a worldwide treasure hunt. It's a quest for certain things, and I can't tell you any more than that. But the physical education is if you want to learn to be in special ops, you can be in special ops, but it's in a game form. And it's also a phys physical education, so it's almost like a curriculum, but it's a game. Again, it's like education, but it's a game. So this is why we need your help. Every dollar that we've spent has either gone into the production of, of product or into our intellectual property, being all the illustrations. Also, we have the sculptures coming out. We have six inch sculptures, but we also have the two inches that are morale counters. Um, the next game has, it's totally uh, miniatures. There's tons of miniatures in the next game. Um, we're, we're focusing on around probably about 100 different miniatures to be in the next game. Um, and so that takes a lot of money to do. So please fund us in this. If you don't like historical conquest, please 
fun to, if you don't want if you don't want to do with history historical conquest if if you played it I don't see anybody that has never doesn't really like it I mean you can go on board game geeks and check out our ratings they're pretty good but go to um, please help us out on this Kickstarter if you want to throw in five dollars please do I'd be eternally grateful I want to throw in a hundred dollars and not claim a reward that's your decision I would love to, to honor that the prototype stage, if you want to t test out those three new games that are coming out, please go to our prototype level. It's like the third from the top. Um, it's in the $300 range. But that gives you the next three prototypes. So the next games that we come out, when we come up with a prototype, you get it for free. Completely free. And you get a copy of Historical Conquest. So you have our complete collection. So please help us uh, fund this program. We have 30 days to, to accomplish it. I think we're down to like 27 right now by the time I do this video. Um, so it's all up to you. We could use your help. Um, and if you have any questions, my email address is Zach, Z-A-C-K dot Edwards at historicalconquest.com. If you want a faster return, then probably go to our general email, which is historicalconquest at gmail.com. And if you've gotten this far and you want to give me a call, please call me up. My personal cell phone number, I'm doing this because I want to get your insight. It's 816-359-8932. Give me a call. Anything, any questions you might have, I'd love to answer them. Um, send us an email. That's a great way of getting to us and not having a problem. Um, but uh, we will be around if you have any questions. I can even answer them on here or on our YouTube channel, which we have like 170 videos. Check it out. We have every week, we have Tutorial Tuesday, where we give tutorials of how to play the game. Check those out. Again, 2.0 is a revised, because we get rid of all the issues, especially the ones that we've already explained in um, the YouTube channel. We explain it all. So please, support us in this uh, Kickstarter, and let's just get this uh, educational revolution started. Thanks again. Take care.